Hello, welcome to SPL Mixing. Today I'm going to address a question on my community section of YouTube. So what I asked was, what do you find more challenging to dial in and master as an experienced pro or perhaps understand in the first place if you're new to audio? So based on that, I decided to dig a little bit deeper and I asked, what about EQ do you find most difficult? And people overwhelmingly said, hearing where to cut and boost. I'm going to cover that today. And I think also we'll have time to address this making instruments sound better, not worse part of the question, which was the second most uh, voted part of that question. So let's get stuck into it. So I've got this song. It's just a snippet of the main song. It's called Jump Across. The vocals, I've got some compression on them. Um, let's have a listen to it and see if we can figure out a starting point. If I A lot of kind of muddiness and stuff happening in the low mids and I'm not actually sure whether it's coming from the lead vocal itself or whether it's coming from a whole bunch of different instruments that are working in that same range. My suspicion is that it's mainly a bit of both. We've got all these things that could fit into that vocal range. So what I want to do when I start EQing is I want to rule out that the vocal is the issue. The way you do that is you solo it. And the only reason why I would fix stuff in solo and tone shape as well is basically because it's the most important. So it has to sound great and everything else can get out of its way. So I'm going to start doing that. Let's solo the vocal and let's try and figure out where we should cut stuff. And then we'll talk about how we can tone shape. If I only knew I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. So the lowest note that she's singing is down here. So it's about 250. So we can create a filter and high pass that if we like. Well, we'll see how this high pass works because as soon as I start changing the shape, it puts a little lump there. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm going to actually put another filter in and just smooth that out. It's now cutting off the stuff that we don't need. So what I'm hearing is this low mid stuff and a good way to figure out where the problem is is just to simply create a filter and boost it. We might drop down this level a bit. If I only knew I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. Now this here, this is a perfect example of something that's a problem. So I don't know if you can hear it, but you can see it. It occasionally hits that note, but when it's not hitting that note, it just sounds really boxy and a bit horrible. If I only knew I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. So even there, where she's singing a note down here, it's got harmonics happening further up. That seems to me to be a spot where I'd like to cut it. Let's test that out. If I only knew I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. So the biggest problem area is just that first line there, I think. If I only knew You hear how woolly it sounds. If I only knew. Now, I don't think I've got all the problems, so I'm going to continue. If I only knew. I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. That's a persistent noise. Now, I could drag this along any part and go, oh, that's a problem, that's a problem. But the thing that kind of stands out to me is that even when the vocal is not singing that note, it still kind of doesn't sound very good. If I only knew, I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. 
if I only knew. To me, that comes across as a bit of an issue with the microphone or how close she's singing to it. If I only knew, I'd still come through. And then she sings that note, so it's the 260. If I only knew. So I reckon that's it. It's around about 260. We can cut that out. If I only knew. Turning it off. If I only knew. I'd still come through. Let's keep hunting and see what other areas might need a bit of love. If I only knew. Still feel like there's something in there, so I might get a bit tighter with the cue. If I only knew. I'd still come through. And jump across the guardrail. If I only knew, I'd still come through. And jump across the guardrail. Let's see what happens. If I only knew, I'd still come through. If I only knew, if I only knew. So what else can we look at? If I, if I only knew, if I only knew. So I was hearing a problem in that area and all I'm doing is I'm boosting just to confirm that I've got the right spot. If I only knew. I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. Pull some of that out. If I only knew. Let's adjust the output gain. If I only knew. I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail. Put a bit of a boost and now we're tone shaping okay so let's add a high shelf if i only knew i'd still come through and jump across the guardrail so the s's are a little bit harsh we can fix that later if i only knew just gonna adjust this gain back down if i only knew I'd still come through and jump across the guardrail if I only knew. So what's the process? The process is basically figuring out what it is that you're hearing. And if you can't hear it, boost it and then cut it, check before and after to make sure that you're getting the right thing. And if you're not, delete that filter, try it again, and then move on to tone shaping. And I would only do that with the most important instruments. Do not tone shape unless it's in context. By context, that means it's unsoloed. Let's take the vocal out of solo. If I And if we take that off, if I only knew, gets totally lost. If I only knew, I still come through and jump across. Now it's still not completely coming through, so I'm hearing a bit of a low mid thing here. If I only knew, I think it's there. If I only knew. I'd still come through. It's definitely an issue there. If I only knew, I'd still come through. We're probably a bit bright, so I'm just going to back that off. Let's have a look at the in and out balance. If I only knew. Okay, not perfect, but it's pretty good. I would say that that vocal is tone shaped. Most of the problems are gone in terms of things that I don't like the sound of. So now that we've ruled out the lead vocals because we've 
done our EQ, we've done a bit of tone shaping. We've got it to sound the way that we like it to sound. It's a pretty good starting spot. We can always adjust a little bit here and there as we progress throughout the mix, but for the most part, I'm happy with that. So now what I want to do is pick other instruments that are within that same range. So I'm going to just, I don't know, I'll just pick guitar two here, the electric, and depending on how it sounds, I might want to clean it up. Let's have a listen. Sounds okay to me. Let's throw it in there with the lead vocals. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just put it in mono. If I only knew, I'd still come through. And I'm going to increase the level a bit. If I only knew, I'd still come through. And jump across the country. Now, because we know that the vocal's good, we have to assume that the guitar is not. So we can use that as a starting point. I'm going to use a technique here. I'm not going to explain it. I just want you to listen. And then after I've done that, I'll talk about what I was thinking when I was doing it. If I only knew, I'd still come through and jump across the country. If I only knew, I'd still come through. Jump across the country If I only knew If I only knew I'd still come through If I only knew I'd still come through If I only knew So that sounds better to me. What was I thinking when I was doing it? Let me run that back and I want you to watch it again and I want you to imagine that when I'm EQing that, I'm actually listening to the vocal. I'm not listening to the guitar at all. This is really how I do it. I'm listening to the thing that I'm not EQing. Okay, let's have a listen. And then after I've done that, I'll talk about what I was thinking when I was doing it. If I only I'd still come through And jump across the country If I only knew I'd still come through And jump across the country If I only knew If I only knew If I only knew, I'd still come through. If I only knew, I'd still come through. And if I only knew, I'd still come through. And jump across the country. So hopefully you had a bit of an epiphany there. Let me just get this guitar back where it was. Something like that. If I only knew, I'd still come through and jump across the country. That's now a lot clearer. And all I've done is I've got the vocal to sound the way that I want it to sound. I then kind of fit that electric guitar in and around the vocal. And you'll notice that I did it in mono because mono 
there's no escape. So hopefully that gives you an insight into how to think about EQ in terms of what to boost and cut. Look for things that are issues when you're boosting a frequency. Search around for those frequencies that whilst they're not necessarily playing in the material, they're persistent. In the vocals, it was a bit of a boxiness to them and there was a low mid muddiness. So it's just a matter of going hunting for those and making sure that once you think you've got it, you test that, you AB it and you confirm whether you've got it right. I hope that clears some stuff up for you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share the video around, subscribe and make sure you click the notifications. And if you like, check out the other content that I've got on my channel. Cheers guys. Happy mixing.